design is like 50%, honestly. It's not really enough to get me going, but I'm gonna go ahead and take this, start building it. When I'm done, I'll end up re-mocking this and putting it online for you guys to see and use for measurements if you do wanna build something like this. I've been working on this. I've got the back motor mount um, jigged up here. I'm gonna go ahead and get it welded in and then I'm gonna get the second one welded in here and then we'll get the uh, connecting braces started. adjustment to the overall height of the motor mount. Um, right now we're going to go ahead and put in the um, motor mounts right here and then we have the motor plate that we'll connect to it later. Yeah, let's get right into it. So right now we're getting the seat mounted up. I'm gonna use these plates here. These plates are gonna go on the inside and it'll just raise it up a little bit and let me get a good position for the seat. Just got our seat mount in. So we're gonna drill holes right here and kind of put the seat sitting on top of that. It'll give it a little bit of space. The seat still sits below the frame, which is nice. I don't think it's the prettiest looking thing, but it works. Using these triangle brackets to connect the rails. We have a seat adjuster. Oh, there you go. So you get a little bit of adjustment with the seat. And then the brackets just hold it all in. It's a little flimsy on the back end, but I think it'll hold. So I'm not really too worried. it on the side pieces now. I think I did a pretty good job. Not super messy, they'll definitely get cleaned up. This is the frame right now, I haven't done the front end. But, I think it's looking pretty sweet. 
All right, so we have our front arms constructed and we're just cleaning them up now. Once they're cleaned up, we'll end up welding them to the frame and uh, go from there. Fuck is how we do.